Welcome to another session of Azure Administrator. I am Anjit Rawat, your online instructor. In previous class, we discussed about how to manage Azure Active Directory users, how to create bulk operation, how to manage our groups and add our user. Now, this is another session, and in this session, we will discuss about RBAC, one of important service of Azure Administrator and Azure Active Directory as well. So let's talk about the introduction first, and after that, we'll move ourselves to the portal and try to understand about the procedure to configure RBAC. But before that, if you are new on my YouTube channel, if you are watching my video first time, so do subscribe Teach Me Cloud because Teach Me Cloud is a single technical training based YouTube channel that give you 100% live practical based video. So let's talk about the RBAC. What is RBAC? So I'm going to describe you from scratch. RBAC consider as a role based access control. Think about every organization, the main pain of every organization is security, as we know very well. No matter it's on-premises setup, our cloud setup, our virtualization setup, every organization, every IT organization always concern about the security part. So if you purchase few services over a portal, if you purchase some resources from Azure portal, so definitely you need to work over our security. Now, Azure AD can give us a one option of RBAC that can help us to manage authentication and authorization to access any resources that you created. So role-based access control based access control is categorized in two different part, right? The RBAC service is categorized in two different part. First is a uh, Azure RBAC, right? Azure role-based access control. And second, Active Directory roles. Azure AD roles, right? It's our responsibility if you want to be a uh, Azure administrator, it's our responsibility. We should know about the actual gap between Azure RBAC and Azure role based, uh, Azure Active Directory role based. Think about the meaning of RBAC. For example, we purchase few services from portal like virtual machine, our VNet, some storage part, some database services, right? These all are the resources that we purchased from portal. We have a VNet, we have a virtual machine, SQL server, and storage part. Now, you want to share these services to different account, or you can say that guest user, to balance your load, to manage your workload. So in this case, whenever we share any resources, we must need to follow Azure RBAC means number of built-in roles are available in our Azure RBAC services. We have option to create our own RBAC services, custom role, you can say that, with the help of Azure custom role services. Think about, this is applicable to manage and protect the resources. Talk about the Active Directory roles. So in case of Azure Active Directory role, we have a number of options like as a global administrator, I hope you heard about the global administrator, right? And uh, multiple options are available like remote access, like as a storage management, kind of. And in case of RBAC, we have a reader, contributor, owner, and number of roles we are uh, able to find in case of Azure RBAC. We will discuss practically. If you want to share the portal, right? If you want to share the portal with the, uh, one of Active Directory user, that time, Azure Active Directory role come into the picture. If you want to share your entire portal, then Azure AD role come into the picture. Whenever you try to share any resources from portal for any user, that time the RBAC service, Azure RBAC service come into the picture. Let me show you the gap between both. Now, what I'm going to do, this is our Azure portal, right? Let's talk about the RBAC first. For example, uh, 
let me create one service to show you the actual concept of our built-in role of Azure. Let me create one storage account and after that we'll discuss about the gap between Azure AD roles and Azure portal role. Any name, I'm just going to proceed with any name. Training is storage 1988-5. East US, no matter. I'm just going to proceed with uh, East US location. Once our storage is ready to use, I'll give you the gap, actual difference between uh, Azure roles and Active Directory roles. Meanwhile, let me open the Azure Active Directory portal. Azure Active Directory panel, you can say that. Select security and click Active Directory. We have already created multiple users. So let me assign the role based on Azure and based on Active Directory as well. Two different users are available. One is GCP and another is my root account. First of all, let me explain you about Azure role. Open resource property, any resource property that you want to share, select access control, IAM. It will redirect you on page of Azure role services. And we are able to find one option add, click here. Click on add role assignment. We have a two different option, add role assignment and add co-administrator. So I'm going to proceed with role assignment because we wanted to see how many roles are available. Guys, we are able to find n number of roles are available. These roles are considered as a Azure role. You can make it owner, contributor, reader, right? n number of options are available. So I wanted to make our user as a owner. Select your role, click next. This is the panel where we can decide the user, add members, must need to provide the Active Directory user, Azure AD user. So DC, GCP is our Active Directory user, select. And click on Review and Assign. It is in progress. In this case means the GCP user able to access your services, able to access your storage account. Let me show you the practical. Now open it and uh, copy the username and try to log in on incognito wizard. We have already shared our uh, storage account with GCP user. So let me show you. Open incognito and type portal.azure.com, paste your user, provide password. This is our root account, right? And this one is our GCP user that we created with the help of Azure Active Directory. We have already shared the storage account with the help of RBAC, Azure RBAC services, because we, are, we want to distribute the resources. We want to share our uh, workload with another Azure AD user. Select a storage account and Refresh the page and wait up to 90 seconds. Yes, we are able to find training storage 1988-53. This is the storage account that we shared from our Azure root account. Now it's time to understand about the usage of Azure Active Directory role. So in case of Azure Active Directory role, like this is our user, select your user, in the user's properties, we are able to find assigned role, right? Just need to click here and it will redirect you on page of roles 
and these roles are considered as a Active Directory role. Add assignments. We are able to find n number of roles are available. So these roles are responsible to manage your entire portal. You can say that if you want to authorize the access of any services. So we are able to share through the Azure role and we can also share our services with the help of Active Directory role. You are able to make it application administrator, application developer. You know about Azure AD joint device, local administrator, billing administrator. You want to authorize, you want to divide your workload to manage your portal. That time you need to proceed and assign the role based on Active Directory. So I wanted to make it billing administrator. It means that your GCP user able to handle the storage account as well as manage the billing related activity because you assign both roles to a single user account. In this case, we are using our Azure role and also Active Directory roles. So it means that our GCP user able to manage the billing activity as well, including with the storage account. I hope you all of you understand about the concept of uh, RBAC services. Do one thing. Let's start your practical, perform the task by self and try to understand about the gap between Active Directory roles and our Azure role. So see, we are able to find our subscription because you successfully make it billing administrator. So it means that with the help of GCP, we are able to manage our billing activity. Is it correct? I hope you all of you understand properly about the concept of RPAC. That's enough for today. We will discuss another topic by tomorrow. Thank you guys. Take care. Bye bye. And do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care guys. Bye bye.